Hi everyone, it's Ilya from Charles University and today we're at the Academy of Arts, Architecture and Design or UMPRUM in Czech and it's one of the study in Prague universities but also it's in the top 100 international in its field. Today we're going to be talking to Konrad, the tutor of the Visual Arts Master's program to get to know more about it. Hi Konrad, great to have you here, how are you doing? Very well, thanks for visiting the school Ilya. Yeah, of course. It's, uh, it's a pleasure and I think it will be also interesting to learn more about UMPROM. So, to start off, for who exactly or for what kind of students is UMPROM? Who should come study here at the Academy? Uh, UMPROM is a school that's uh, good for anybody interested in any aspect of art, visual art or design. Uh, there are 24 studios that range between the fine arts and applied arts. Awesome. And let's say that they have the choice right between different universities. What would you say is special about the Academy and why should they choose this one? Uh, well, one of the things that I was immediately impressed by as a student here myself was the deep level of technical knowledge. So there are 17 workshops in addition to the 24 studios. So, for example, if you want to really find something out about the process of silk screening, you have, uh, you have the opportunity here. So that connection between technique and uh, technical side and the theory is really important. Awesome, awesome. I mean, as I'm a student myself, it's always good to have a mixture of those because then you can learn as much as possible, of course. And does that mean that People also have the possibility to do some work on the side or get some work practice? Yeah, definitely, yeah. The, the school works with a large uh, number of uh, companies and cultural institutions um, that, that allow the students to gain professional experience, whether they're in the applied or the fine arts. So now that we know a little bit more about the education part of uh, Umperum, can you mm -hmm. tell us a bit uh, about the student life, maybe back in your days? Sure. When you were students. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's an art school, so you have the normal student life that you might expect, uh, although sometimes it can be a little bit crazy, <laughs> which is nice. Um, but on top of that, I would say that one of the things I first noticed was, was that the students here, a lot of them were already somehow professionally active. So they might have been working in a, in a company, running an exhibition space, or exhibiting their own work while studying. So that was something that really impressed me right away. Yeah, and I think that's definitely a positive sign because then you're also more uh, pushed to get a job or maybe even get into the employment, seek out possibilities, opportunities. And uh, now that <laughs> I'm sure everybody's excited about coming and studying here at Umprum, I hope so. Uh, can you tell us about the English programs or the opportunities for English speaking people for the foreign students? Yeah, so as an undergraduate student, you could uh, uh, get involved in the Erasmus program, so spend a semester here through that program. How, or if you're interested in pursuing a master's degree, you can join the Visual Arts Master's program, which is a two year program. It takes place in all 24 studios and it's, it's, it, it allows you to focus on your specialization, whatever that may be, and collaborate with your classmates so it's a cross-disciplinary program uh, that's really worth you looking into because I think it's quite unique. Oh awesome well I hope uh, you find this informative and thank you for sharing it with us today. Thanks for coming. So I hope this was insightful and useful to you and you're excited about coming here and studying at Umprum. To find out more about it you can check out their website or the website of the Study in Prague project which will be right here and yeah as always I hope to see you in Prague next semester.